I'm Sarah Hashimaris for the Los Angeles Times. Let's take a look at some of this afternoon's trending headlines being covered by the Times Newsroom. News today amid earlier confusion of a standoff involving a Marine who shot and killed two fellow Marines before ending his own life at a barracks near Washington is being investigated. Local authorities and military police responded around 1030 last night to reports of a gunshot at Marine Corps Base Quantico in Virginia, where they found one male dead at a dorm-like section of the school. Authorities soon discovered the body of a female hostage and the suspected shooter who apparently died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The Times reports that the three dead Marines Marines were permanent personnel assigned to officers candidate school at the base. The judge in the Bell corruption trial declared a mistrial on the remaining counts against the six ex-city council members accused of misappropriating public funds. Judge Kathleen Kennedy addressed the divided jury, saying all hell has broken loose. One juror told the Times that dissension on the jury worsened considerably in the last week, leading to very, very tense deliberations, which took nearly as long as the trial itself. Luis Artiga was the only former lawmaker to be exonerated on all charges against him. A new poll finds that a majority of California voters are in favor of strict gun control measures in which background checks are utilized for all gun purchases alongside boosted efforts to keep guns out of the hands of the severely mentally ill. The USC Dornsife Los Angeles Times poll found that Californians also support state proposals to prohibit the possession of large capacity magazines, background checks for the purchase of ammunition, and a requirement that all gun owners be registered, licensed, and insured. The findings spread across demographic and political lines. Google is the latest tech giant to reportedly be working on a smart wristwatch. The rumored device is said to fall under Google's Android unit. According to a Financial Times report from this week, the tech giant holds a 2011 patent for a flip-up display smartwatch. For the full stories and poll data mentioned in this report and other headlines, be sure to visit LATimes.com. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.